In this video, we're learning how to solve ratio word problems. And if we take a look at example one, it says the ratio of red marbles to blue marbles in a bag is two to five. If there are eight red marbles in the bag, how many blue marbles are there? So I'm gonna set up what's called a ratio table. So that's how I'm gonna solve these problems because I think it is easiest for most students. So what I wanna do is put red up here and I will put blue marbles here. And we wanna set up the initial ratio that they gave us. So we know that the ratio of red to blue marbles is two to five. And now we wanna fill in what we know in this next column. So we know that there are eight red marbles. So we're gonna put eight in this spot right here. And we're trying to figure out how many blue marbles are. So we're trying to fill in this spot right here. And I'm gonna erase it so we can actually fill it in. Now, what we wanna do is basically think of these as two proportions. So we're really think of, thinking of this as two over five is equal to eight over some number of blue marbles. So what we can do in the table is just think, well, how did we get from two to eight? What did we have to multiply by? We have to multiply two by four to get to eight. So to keep our ratio the same, we have to multiply the blue part of our ratio by four, and five times four is 20, so we get that there are a total of 20 blue marbles in the bag. Let's take a look at example two. So example two says the ratio of Helen's age to Greg's age is seven to three. If Helen is 21 years old, what is the sum of Helen's age and Greg's age? So we're gonna do the same thing. So let's set up a table. And we're gonna put, we'll put Helen's age up top and we'll put Greg's on the bottom. And what we always wanna start by doing is filling in the original ratio that they gave us. So they told us the ratio of Helen's age to Greg's age is seven to three. So we're gonna put a seven for Helen and a three for Greg. And now we're gonna fill in what we know. So we know that Helen is 21 years old. So we're gonna put 21 up here. And now we need to find the sum of Helen's and Greg's ages. So first we're gonna find what Greg's age is and then we'll just add them together. So we're gonna think, how do we get from seven to 21? Well, seven times three is 21. So in order to keep our ratio the same, we have to multiply three by three to get Greg's age. So we get that Greg is nine years old. And now to find the sum of their ages, we're just going to add their ages together. And 21 plus nine is going to give us a sum of 30 years. Let's go through two more examples. So example three says, the ratio of men to women at a company is three to seven. If there are a total of 80 men and women at the company, how many women are there and how many men are there? So this problem's a little bit different because they gave us a ratio and then they gave us the total number of women and men. So they didn't give us the number of women or the number of men. So we're gonna solve this a similar way, but we need to make three rows in our table this time. So we're gonna make three rows. We're gonna put men, women, and then we're gonna put total down here. And now we wanna fill in the original ratio they gave us. So we know that the ratio of men to women is three to seven. And now we have to find a total of our ratio. So we're gonna look at the different parts. So for every three parts men or every three men, there are seven women. So the total is going to be 10. And now in our next column, we are going to fill in the other information they gave us. So they told us that there's a total of 80 men and women. So we're gonna put 80 in the total row. And now we have to figure out how many women and how many men there are. So we're gonna look, how did we get from 10 to 80? Well, we multiplied that part of our ratio by eight. So to keep our ratio equivalent, we have to multiply each part of our ratio by eight. So seven times eight is going to give us 56 women. And three times eight is going to give us 24 men. So we get that there's 24 men and 56 women. Let's go through our last example. So our last example says, the ratio of quarters to dimes in a jar is nine to four. If there are a total of 26 quarters and dimes in the jar, what is the value of the quarters and dimes? So we're gonna solve this using a similar method to number three, but we have one extra step because we have to find the value of the quarters and dimes. We don't just have to find how many quarters and dimes there are. So what we wanna do first is figure out how many quarters and dimes are in the jar. So we're gonna set up a three part table We'll put quarters up top and then dimes 
and then total since they gave us the total number of quarters and dimes in the jar. And now we want to fill in our first column with the ratio that they gave us. So we know that for every nine quarters, there are four dimes, or the ratio of quarters to dimes is nine to four. And then nine plus four is 13, so we know that there are 13 total parts in our ratio. And now we want to fill in what else they gave us in the problem. So we know that there's a total of 26 quarters and dimes. So we are going to put 26 in our total row. So we're going to put 26 right here. And now we want to figure out how many quarters and dimes there are. So we need to think, how do we get from 13 to 26? Well, 13 times 2 is 26. So we have to multiply both parts of our ratio by 2 to keep our ratio equivalent. So 4 times 2 is going to give us 8 dimes. And 9 times 2 is going to give us 18 quarters. So we know that there's 18 quarters and 8 dimes. And now we have to find the value of these coins. So for the quarters, I'll just put Q, we know that there's 18 quarters. And the value of every quarter is 25 cents, or $0.25. So we're going to multiply 18 by 0.25. And if we multiply 18 by 0.25, we're going to get that the value of the quarters is $4.50. And now we're going to do a similar thing for the dimes. So I'll put D for dimes. And we know that there are 8 dimes, and every dime is 10 cents, or $0.1. So we're going to multiply 8 by 0 0.1, and we're going to get that the value of our dimes is 0 0.80, or 80 cents. And now we just want to add these together to find the value of the quarters and dimes in the jar. So $4.50 plus 80 cents is going to give us a total of $5.30. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to solve ratio word problems. If you want more practice with ratio word problems, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.